once you set out on your path, a path that's your own, the world will conspire, the world will support you in that choice that you've made to be on your own path. For me, the ocean has been my greatest teacher. It's a place where I get an opportunity to connect to something much larger than myself. And so every time that I go out onto the ocean, I'm learning about myself and I'm growing. I'm proud to be from Northern Ontario and I come from a family of teachers. And so as the firstborn, that seemed to be the natural path that was laid out for me. But at that time, I felt that it wasn't my path. And so I quit my teaching job and I moved out west and I got my guiding certifications. And then within a year, I found myself hired in the Great Bear Rainforest. I think Normhan Expeditions is a company based off my passion of wild land and wanting to connect people to those wild places. When stand-up paddleboarding came along and I saw the mixing of two sports of canoeing, which I grew up doing in Northern Ontario, and surfing, which I came out west to do and, and, and really started to love, I thought it was a beautiful blend of, of two sports. You've got this tool that you can surf with, you can tour with, you can train with, you can race, you can take down rivers. So depending on what your water environment is, you can use the stand-up paddleboard tool to experience your own body of water and in different ways. You know, with my son Kiel, I'm able to share with him the values that I have and try and have him lead a life that, that he really enjoys, a, a life of freedom, a life of connection a life of understanding about the trees and about the mountains and about the ocean and about respect for the wildlife. You know, the ocean's been a great teacher, but my son has been just as good a teacher because he's really made me reflect on the things that I'm doing and making sure that I'm being the right role model and mentor for him. I think we're right at this moment we, where we are experiencing a paradigm shift in how we view the connection to the land, but also how we view ourselves within that bigger picture of the ecosystem. And I remember David Suzuki always saying, there's no healthy economy without a healthy ecosystem, right? And I think we're realizing that. The First Nations have known this forever, but no one has really listened. But now we're starting to listen, and I think that shift is happening. Live beyond land, for me, means to live beyond myself. Once we move away from the comfort of land, once we get out of the safe harbor, get into the big water, this is where we really learn a lot about ourselves. This is where growth happens, this is where challenges are. And I think this is why I really enjoy taking people because they get a chance to find out what they're all about as well.